Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of How to Build Your Character in Maya. My name is Brian and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the spine and I'm going to be breaking this episode into two separate um, tutorials to the creation of the bone structure which is fairly simplistic and then into the creation of the uh, spine controls. Now these are probably going to be two shorter videos but again I don't want to go over the 10 minutes and I want to make sure you guys get the maximum you can out of these videos. Okay, and I think it's be much clearer if you if you if they're broken up and you watch each one in turn. So, I'll release them both in the same day though, so you'll be able to see them all at once for those who are forging ahead. So I hope that you guys have completed your leg. If you've done so, it looks exactly like this, your character. And uh, you have one leg and hopefully you have two legs, and hopefully you actually built them both on your own. I'm going to show you a way later on to duplicate these legs, but for now I'm really hoping that you guys did it on your own to make sure that you practice what I'm telling you. If you don't practice, the tutorials are not going to help you at all. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the spine, as I mentioned, and we're going to work in the panels in the front view, orthographic front. And the joint, the, the spine structure is fairly simplistic. It's an FK spine. We are not adding anything additional, no stretchiness or anything like that to this character. It's a very simple character. And not only am I trying to maintain simplicity of the character itself, but it's important to me because I think a lot of people who are watching these videos are, are probably pretty new to Maya and don't really know what they're doing yet. And if I add a whole bunch of additional uh, features to this rig and you try and animate it, it's not going to turn out well. The advanced features are really for advanced animators. Okay, that said, we're going to go on now and we're going to make a simplistic FK rig that everyone should be able to use. Or an FK spine at least that everyone should be able to use. So, first thing, make sure you're in the animation tab. I want you to go to Skeleton and choose your joint tool and choose this little box at the end. And make sure that you are oriented your joints to the world, so make sure this is clicked on. It's going to be important because we want this thing to bend, we want the, the FK structure to bend appropriately, and if it's not oriented to the world, you can get some pretty awkward and uh, unreasonable bending in your character's spine. You don't want that, so make sure this is clicked on. Perfect. Now with that tool in place, I want you to add a bone, and we're going to add the first one uh, right about... Uh, I'm going to turn everything, make sure nothing's clicked on here. Uh, right about here, right in the belly button area. And this is going to be our root bone. This is what everything is going to stem from. The entire structure of the entire skeleton is going to stem from this location. So that is our root joint. Next, I want you guys to add, well, let's add it right about, uh, you know, we're going to add it right here. We're going to add a pelvis joint. Uh, and I'm going to add it right there. So the pelvis joint itself is going to uh, manipulate the hips and uh, it's going to be connected to the FK system down here, uh, excuse, excuse me, the IK system down here as well. So you kind of get this like humping motion when you rotate it. So next thing I want you to do is make sure that you rename these joints immediately. The top one is going to be a BX joint and remember BX means we are not binding any of the skin to it, so BX root. And the second one is going to be our BN BN pelvis. So we are actually going to be um, binding a skin to this later on. But the root joint, no. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect, well, no, actually the next thing we're going to do is make sure that this thing is aligned properly. Go to panels, orthographic, side view. And you can see that when I built the joints, they kind of went off, well, they went in the center of that other view, in the center of our character right along the, uh, along the plane here. We want to make sure it's kind of lined up. Select the root joint and make sure it's kind of lined up with our hips. You know, this is probably a completely unnecessary step. I just like to have everything in line. It makes sure that things will rotate the way I'm expecting them to. Okay, now let's go back, panels, and we're going to go back to the ortho orthographic front. Now, what I want to do is I want to connect the leg to the actual pelvis joint, because that's all going to be one connected joint chain. So, to do so, I want you to connect the child. So, this is going to be our child joint. We want this joint to be in control of this one, so that's our child, this is our parent joint. Right click the child first, then the pelvis, which is our parent, and I want you to go to Skeleton and Connect Joint. And when you do so, if you've done it correctly, you'll get a, a joint that actually kind of like a bone that actually stretches between those two joints. I think if you do this backwards it'll tell you you can't do it. Uh, I think it'll tell you you can't do it because this is actually a, um, a child joint already and it, I don't think it'll work the opposite way. So I think you'll get an error if you've done it incorrectly. So don't worry too much about that. So that's what your joint change should look like right now. The next thing we're going to do is add a couple more joints, and that's going to be our spine. So we're going to go back to our joint tool, joint tool, and it's still in the X, it's still in the uh, world orientation. So that's great. And the number of joints here, 
is not really that important. You can probably get away with a lot less than I'm about to put in. I think I'm going to put in I think I'm going to put in three joints to manipulate this torso, and honestly, it is probably completely unnecessary. You could probably get away with two, uh, and maybe even one. You might not even need two. So you can pick which one you want to do. I'm going to add three for now, and just because that's how I did my first character, I'm going to add three for now, and we'll see how everything turns out. So I'm going to add my first one here. You know what? I'm going to add. Yeah, I'm going to add. I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to add one here. Ah, yeah, one here, right about here, I guess. And one here. Actually, this is one less joint than I added to my last character. And that is perfectly fine. We're not going to worry about it at all. The extra manipulation is just minute, minute animation details. And honestly, I don't think it's going to be very important with this kind of character. OK, so again, the first thing we want, oh, actually, you know what? We want to add a few more joints while we're here. I'm going to go up to the head right here, and so this is our neck, this is our spine 2 and our spine 1 and our root. I'm going to add something up in the middle of the head, and this is going to be our head joint, just like that. Somewhere in the middle of the head, it doesn't really matter. This is what most of the head is going to be skinned to, and it's going to allow us to turn the head back and forth. Okay, next go to our panels, and we're going to go to our side view, and go to our translation tool, and let's just align this once again. Just kind of line it up like just eyeball it right about there. That looks good. And then we're going to rename these joints. This one is going to be our BN underscore head. This one is going to be our, we're going to call this BX actually, because this is our neck joint. And this character has no neck. Uh, normally, if this was a more complex character with an actual neck structure, neck, neck uh, model, mesh, I should say, you'd actually have more joints in here. You'd have several joints allowed to, allowed to, to allow the neck kind of go back and forth and that kind of stuff. But for now, we're not going to bind anything to this. We're just going to call it BX neck. Let's take a look at this from the front again. Yeah. And this one here is going to be our BN. And we're going to call it spine 2. It's our second joint. This one is going to be our BN spine one. So that is going to actually, both of these two are going to kind of allow us to twist our body. That's going to be more than enough information, more than enough joints to be able to twist a little bit of a uh, little bit of mesh we actually have here. And then once again, we want to connect this entire thing to the root joint. So we connect our, we select our parent, or excuse me, our child first, and then our parent. And then we say skeleton connect joint, and we should get an arrow going in that direction. Perfect. Okay, and there's only a few more bones I'm going to add, and then I'm going to cut this video off. Everything has been set up properly here. Panels, orthographic, side view. We're going to add a couple more bones in here. Uh, we're going to add a jaw bone and a chin bone. So the jaw bone we're going to put somewhere. Think about it as like the, the hinge of your jaw. Let's put it somewhere right about here. And this one's going to go right to the chin, to the side of the chin like that. And we're only going to bind the head to, to if you don't want a character with the mouth and you only need this one bone up here, if you want your character to be able to do lip sync and mouth movements, then you're going to want an extra bone here. And, and ultimately, I'm, I'm probably not going to use it that much. To be honest, I'm probably not going to use that much. I'm going to use mostly blend shapes for my animation. So let's just rename these. The one on the end is going to be called, let me make sure I have that selected because I don't know what I have selected right now. There we go. BN underscore chin. And this one I'm going to call BX, because again, we're not binding to it. BX underscore jaw. Great. Last thing, connect everything up. Your child, your parent, skeleton, and connect joint. Great. So that is our actual structure. That is everything we need done right now. When I come back with the second part B of this video, I'm going to show you how to do the control structure for the spine. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys actually watch the next video online because it's very important. I noticed in the last one, last time I made this, I got 150 views of the first part of the video, and then I only got like 10 or 20 for the part B and C. So I hope you guys watch the entire thing. I'll talk to you all in a minute.